I will go through detail of what you can do to spot fake designers online and I'm going to be using the one that is fake for reference. So go ahead and take your best guess and comment down below which one of these you think is the real one and which one of these you think is the fake one. What's up you guys? It's Taylor back for another video. For those of y'all who are new here, thanks for stopping by. I want to go ahead and remind you to hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out with lady algorithm here. If you're new to the channel, I do fashion, beauty, lifestyle, budget type content, just a little bit of everything under the sun. But I did want to start off by sharing my outfit with y'all. Well, I'm in my closet for this video so we have this huge mirror over here but I wanted to share what I was wearing for this video just in case y'all were curious so this top is from Amazon it was right around $20 and I love like the huge puff sleeve detail I feel like this is just so dramatic and like perfect for the holidays a date night going out anything like you want to be a little bit more over the top um these jeans are sold out unfortunately but I did link a handful of options that were similar they're Abercrombie and I cannot speak highly enough of Abercrombie jeans um and then and these shoes if you've seen any of my target hauls you will recognize these but they're from target they're thirty dollars and literally the absolute best heel um i will do a little panoramic over here and you can see i literally have a line of shoes just dedicated to this style um so i totally like i'm an addict for these but let's go ahead and just jump right into this video all right so we're going to be talking all about the time that i got scammed online and ended up buying a fake designer purse so i'm going to switch this around and i'm going to show you guys the two purses in question so it's this gucci purse and this gucci purse the marmot small size i will go through detail of what you can do to spot fake designers online and i'm going to be using the one that is fake for reference so go ahead and take your best guess and comment down below which one of these you think is the real one and which one of these you think is the fake one i did not want you to think the positioning meant anything so that's not a giveaway okay so i will go ahead and tell you that this red one is the fake and this white one over here is the real one so the main difference here is going to be something on the inside of the bag so when you're looking at the outside of these they really don't look very different at all um i even went to the point of counting the real stitching and the padding and like all of the details online to make sure that this was a real one so i'll have a whole other video the next one in the series actually coming up is best tips for buying designer goods online but this one is going to be more specifically of how to look for designer items and make sure that they are real while they're online. Now let me start by saying it's always always better to buy in person if you have the opportunity but obviously it's going to be really hard to find a place especially in today's environment to buy something um designer if it's not going to be in the actual retailer so the reason that i decided to buy these online was because i knew i could get a great deal buying something pre-loved and pre-loved basically means used most people are going to take really good care of their designer bags or designer items um obviously you saw the belt earlier i have them in a clear case um the real bag over here this one it is stuffed and by stuff you can get like actual stuffers for it but I just take two t-shirts and ball them up and make sure that I put them in here every time I'm done using it so that way it retains the shape to it so that's a little pro tip I will link in the description box below a highly recommended bag stuffer okay I wanted to sit down for this one so just a little backstory here about this time last year i treat myself to my first designer purse and, and was looking for a good deal online that was still reasonable um go ahead let me just knock it out of the park here if it's too good to be true it 100 percent is so i was looking on ebay for ones that were in the like five to seven hundred price range which those are fake like there is no doubt about it unless there's like a big gash in it it's going to be fake um i ended up paying i think this one was around the 500 dollar mark i did get it back completely um and that will be the whole story for that will be in the next video of good online retailers and then for this one the real one i paid right at a thousand dollars for it which is still a great price considering it was almost 
I think it's more than double that for retail. And basically, I'm gonna go through the six things that you need to know whenever you're looking for a bag online so you don't get burned like I did on this one. The first thing you need to do is research. Um, I know it's not the most fun thing to do, but whenever you are trying to make an investment like this, like I ended up paying right over a thousand dollars and that like that is a lot of money. So this is an investment piece and you need to take the time to research exactly what goes into this, how to care for it, um, what it should look like, just kind of know what you're buying. You wouldn't buy a car without doing the research to see what miles per gallon it got, how far it could go. So this is also an investment piece and you need to do that, your type of due diligence when it comes to this. Just make sure you know the product inside and out. So that way, whenever you do get an item, you know, those flags will be a dead giveaway and you can resolve the situation immediately. So just take that time up front to go in and make sure you know what you're buying and you know what you're expecting to get as well. Because dupes are getting really, really good. And I mean, you can see this, like it looks the exact same almost outside of what I'm gonna show you later on, what was the dead giveaway for me when I actually got it in person. Go on to the second tip. Um, and the first thing that is the biggest point of, you know, what most of these fakes get wrong, it's gonna be the serial number. So I'll go ahead and do a little close up of the serial numbers for these two bags. So if you look in the red one, you're gonna see that it is on this little flap on the inside, trademark the Gucci and that thin font, and then under it has made in Italy. If you flip it around, you're gonna see a six number code up top and on the bottom. So that top code is basically the manufacturer or where it was made. And these can vary from bag to bag, from retailer to retailer. For this specific brand and line of Gucci, and like I said, this is the Gucci Marmont bag, it, all of these had six on the top and six on the bottom. But what I wanna do is show you the real bag. So whenever you open it up, it's got the same look at first. So you've got the trademark, the same Gucci logo with the same thin font and the made in Italy stamp. And when you flip it over, it's still the six numbers up top and the six numbers on bottom. And ironically enough, both of these bags have the exact same serial code number up top. And like I said, people who are doing fakes are doing a darn good job at making sure they're real. So they copied the serial number up top. But what you can see in the difference, I'll do it side by side here, is you can tell that the font for the white one is much smaller than the one for the red one. And then it's also a different font in general. So there's just discrepancies overall between the two bags. Now, if you are lucky enough to have access to one of these that is a real bag, that would definitely be the best option. What I ended up doing, since a lot of people don't like to post the serial code numbers for these bags online, then you can compare and contrast the two. And like I said, these are high-end designer bags. They expect, people expect top-notch quality when they're buying a Gucci product. They expect consistency, they expect luxury, they expect not a stitch out of place. Obviously, this is a pre-loved bag, so there are going to be some imperfections based off of the condition of it. This one was a little more worn than something that would be considered a new condition. Um, but whenever I bought it online, it specifically said, okay, it's got a little bit of coloring on the back and like this stitches out and there's a little tear right here. Um, it will completely call out every little imperfection and it will show you a specific picture. If it is a good website, it will show you every picture to, to match up with the inconsistencies and those little flaws that it has in the description. So for example, I can do a little close up of this. You can see on this bag here, there's this little mark on the bottom. And whenever I bought it, that was like that already. And so in the description, it showed a close up picture of this mark and it was in the description as well that it was slightly worn on the flap cover. So that, just like that little imperfection like that doesn't necessarily mean that this is a bad bag. It just means that it's a little loved and you have to be able to recognize the difference between something that has been well loved and something that has been counterfeited. So the next big thing is going to be the stitching details. And unfortunately, whenever I bought this red one, I did not have my white one to compare. I had photos on the internet that I could find, websites that I knew would sell the real deal product, like the site um, Fashion File where I got this real purse. So you can tell it looks like the thread is a little shinier and there is a deeper hole, like a pretty sizable hole where the stitching meets and goes in. And then I'll do a little compare and contrast to the white one here. You can see that the stitching is a little bit smaller. It's a little less deeper and the fabric is a little less shiny. 
So that was a dead giveaway whenever I got this as well. The stitching just didn't look as good of quality. Um, it just looked a little off. But you can tell if something was stitched incorrectly or something was just loved a little too much. One thing that I did as well, because I had the pictures online from Fashion File and the Gucci website, I literally counted all of the circles right through here. So I literally went through and counted that. I checked out the size to make sure that the size, the bottom, everything, the pattern consistently matched what was on the real websites. Because like I said, I did buy those off of eBay and I knew eBay would be kind of sketchy overall. So I just made sure that the full design was completely consistent from every aspect that I could visually see through a computer. And that included the stitching and those details like this little heart on the back right here. The next big giveaway going into the third aspect, or the fourth aspect, the third was the stitching, this is the fourth, is going to be the logo. So again, I'll do a close up and it's got this shiny brass tint to it, but it's not uber shiny. The G, they interlock and you can see that this barely touches. So there's like a slight little black gap in between the two. And this G on the outside over here on the left overlaps the one on the right. So here is the red one, the G over here on the left interlocks the one on the right. It's got a little bit of a gap between the two G's right here in the middle. It's a very brassy and shiny, but not too shiny. Unfortunately, this one now looking side by side, you can tell where the two G's interlock, there's a little bit more of a black gap in between the two on the red one. So whenever I got the two side by side, I could compare, I could see that difference. Again, that was something I just couldn't pick up on a computer, which was unfortunate. Okay, so we have two more tips. So the fifth tip here is going to be the coloring of it. So like I mentioned earlier, I did go the pre-loved route. So again, I had to be aware of the inconsistencies that come with someone else owning this bag. So I knew that the like color transfer from jeans could definitely be a possibility. There could be stains on it. There could be little marks, imperfections. And again, you have to use your best judgment when you're doing this. And the overall coloring of these bags should be completely consistent. So I didn't have any worries when it came to buying this one whatsoever. And again, if you wanna hear a little bit more about that story and that experience some places that you can buy safely online pre-loved designer items and also some tips and tricks as to how to get a sale, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon because that video is coming up later this week uh, because I know the holidays are coming around and I'm gonna be asking for something nice for Christmas too. So I'm trying to help a sister out here. So the last thing, the sixth and final tip here for how to tell if a bag is real or not are going to be the accessories that come with it. So I will go and show you the bag, the box, and the care card that I got for both of these. Walking up here to get these bags and I am 100% that bitch that still keeps the boxes. 100%. Okay, so these are the two bags that I received um, with either of my purchases. It's a little more of a bright white, and that one's definitely an off-white. This one came with the real one. And then I actually did not get a care card or a box with the real purchase. What I got with my fake purchase was this box right here, which has the Gucci logo right here on it. It came with this card here. But what really threw me off was this care card. And so I literally went through and I was like, there's gotta be like some typos in here, but they've got this in every single language. So like, here's Italian. Um, I'm not even gonna pretend what language that is. Something Arabic probably. But I did go through the entire English version and read it to make sure there were no typos, there were no mispronunciations. Some of the letters were smudged and I figured that might just be something that happened in shipping. I don't know. But like they went through a lot of effort to make me think this was real because they literally printed this out in every language imaginable except Spanish for some reason. So the point being from that comment is just because someone says, oh, it comes with the box and the care card, the origination card, that does not mean it's real. Just because it has a serial code does not mean it's real. Just because they say it's authentic does not mean it's real. All right, so just to recap, um, I did buy this purse off of eBay and this one off of Fashion File. Um, again, if you wanna hear the full story of how I ended up getting my money back for this one, um, and then some good places that can you can buy pre-loved designer items on sale, how to buy them on sale, the whole story of all that, hit the bell icon and that will be coming up in my video that's released later this week. But six tips, 
that's not six. The six tips that I have for you guys whenever you're trying to buy something designer online and you're trying to decide if it's real or not real are going to be one, just do your research. You need to know what you're buying, what you're getting yourself into and what to expect when you receive that item. Number two is going to be the serial number. So always, always, if the line of your product that you're looking at has a serial number on it, which a lot of designer items do nowadays, you need to make sure you know what it looks like, where it's at, the font it is, the style of it, everything about it, and make sure you have a picture of that serial number before you buy something online. Because if they don't have it and the line of that item has a serial number, it's, it's fake, 100%, it's going to be fake. The third thing is going to be the stitching. You need to make sure that the stitching is completely consistent. You need to make sure it looks the same as the other bags online of this same make and model. You need to make sure there are no imperfections in the stitching other than, you know, what would be normal wear and tear if it is pre-loved. Um, again, you always have to take that into consideration because something has on that bag or that belt or that dress, whatever it may be before you. And so people, most people are going to take care of those items. Some people aren't an accident happen. Like you have to be aware of that. The third thing is going to be the logo. So make sure that the logo pattern, the design, make sure that it lines up in consistency. The material that they use is consistent. The shine of the material is consistent. Make sure that the logo matches identically. Again, if the logo does not match identically, it is a fake. It may be a good one, but it is a fake. The fifth, the fifth tip is going to be to make sure the color matches. So again, if you're buying pre-loved, there could be some color transfer, there could be some wear and tear, there could be some marks. Take that into consideration. But as long as the base color is something that identically matches what it would be if you purchased it in store from that retailer, you should be good to go. And the last thing is, what was the last thing? And the last thing is going to be the accessories. If you see that it's coming in a box that you don't recognize from that brand, like whenever I got this box, my heart sank a little bit because that was one of the giveaways that made me know that this was not a real item. So if you get something and it comes in some type of different box, different packaging, again, it may be a fake. That's not a dead giveaway. Um, just like if you get a box that is identical, a bag that is identical, a care card that looks to be identical, that's not a dead giveaway that it is real either. Well, that is it for this video, you guys. Hopefully you found this useful. Um, if y'all have ever been in this position to where you've bought something fake online, let me know in the comments down below how your situation ended out. Um, I know it sucks, honestly, it really does, but fingers crossed that your situation ended as positively as mine did. But would love it if you could give this video a like, subscribe to my channel. Again, I do fashion, beauty, budget, all of the above, and just here to help you be a little bit more sassy, savvy, and confident with yourself. And just a reminder again that the follow-up video to this one is going to be going live later on this week and it will just be a follow-up story of all of the places that you can buy reputable designer pre-loved items at a really good discount and how you can get even more of a discount from those too. So hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever that video comes out. But until then, y'all have a fantastic week and thanks for stopping by. Bye you guys. Just because I'm so proud of this. My shoe wall, my designer item wall, my purses.